morning everybody this is a girl Trey Trey and you know after you work a 12 hour shift and you come home you know you deal with all kind of stuff on your shift and you come home you're hungry because trust me when you work a 12 hour shift you don't really get hungry so this morning I, I have the best the bestest let me use that word, the bestest, the bestest Caribbean breakfast you can ever have. Right under the coconut tree. The bestest um, Caribbean breakfast you can ever have right under them coconut tree. Here we go on. Today, I have some fried bake. Right? This is more than equivalent to McDonald's and KFC burgers. This is fried bake. You see? Fry bake, look how light and fluffy it is. Fry bake. And this here, hey, this is saltfish bowl jol. Look at it good. You know, if you go to, um, if you go on one of my videos, you're going to see fry bake and saltfish. Fry bake and saltfish bowl jol with a nice cup of orange peel tea. You understand? Look at, look, look at the orange peel. I'm telling you, I'm ready for breakfast. I'm ready for breakfast and I'm topping it off. Special. I'm putting a little lettuce leaf. You understand? So I'm going to tell you, and you know what? This is my dessert, a little orange. So let me tell you how my night shift went. You understand? Yeah. I work the night shift. I tell you, working night shift is not an easy thing. It is not an easy thing. You come on the shift, it's drama. You end the shift, it's drama. But I love, I love what I do. I love what I do. You understand? So this, this is inside the, the, the fry bait. You see it? Look how light and fluffy it is. So you're going to put in some lettuce leaf. And you're going to make it into a nice burger. Fry bake and saltfish burger made by your, yours truly, Dre Dre. You understand? Look at that. Mm. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is the best this you can ever take. And some orange peel tea. Yeah. Working night shift is not easy. First you begin. You have to drive through snow, hail to get to work. Sometimes when you get to work. Mm. Sometimes when you get to work, you can't get a good pack. Then you have to deal with my beautiful patients. Every five minutes, you hear me? Every five minutes, call button is going on. It's either the one pain medication. So you get a notification that one of them fall. It's a lot to do when a patient fall. When a patient fall in our rehab, look, LTC, long term care. You have to do assessment. You do your pain assessment. You do what they call neurological check, where you check the vital signs for a couple days, let's say about five days initially, then every hour times four. Then every four hours, then every eight hours. You want to make sure that they're they, they okay, okay? The vital signs are steady. The real vital sign. You assess them, you do range of motion. Ensuring that um, they haven't broken any bones or anything like that. You have to notify the doctor. You wake the doctor's butt up. Anytime, night or day. Mm. 
you notify the doctor and then please don't go and wake up people family member unless it's a it's a real serious emergency let's say the patient has an injury yeah you wake them up anytime but if they just fall you know and you could you could take care of that you could get back you could get them back up on the bed they didn't hurt themselves and you do the assessment and stuff like that to medicate them for pain you call the family members in the morning you know call them and let them know hey you know mistress door she fell off the bed she said she was going to pack a bag to go to work we're speaking about somebody who is 80 years old dementia alzheimer's she's gonna pack a bag to go to work so you know she, she tried getting off the bed and she fell but you always do what you have to do as a nurse you understand so assessment is very important and documentation i'm telling you triple impo important because that is what takes you to court the documentation fry bacon salt fish and a nice cup of orange peel tea folks mm. What the best way to make the best breakfast in the Caribbean? This is the best breakfast you can get in any Caribbean island. Fry bacon, salt fish, buljol. Salt fish, buljol with a nice hot cup of orange peel tea. Yeah, so your shift, your shift, your shift is going on. It's like about, what time? It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay? That time, you know, you're doing your documentation and stuff like that. You're chatting on other residents and you're doing follow up on 24 hours 24 report that you got you're doing follow ups and stuff like that then if a patient doesn't have a medication a prudent prudent nurse patient doesn't have a medication that was ordered earlier on the previous shift what you're gonna do? Just sit back and not let the patient, especially if the medication is supposed to be administered on your shift. You're not gonna sit back. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna call the pharmacy and let them know. Could you send that medication start? Because the window for start is like four hours. So within four hours, that patient is supposed to get the medication, right? You have to do what you're supposed to do and always act as a very prudent nurse. All right. It's about 2.20 now in the morning. And you know the phlebotomist comes in on this button 3 o'clock in the morning to draw blood. So you want to get... You would want to go to the ETAR. And make sure all your labs are taken care of. All your CBC, your MG, your vitamin D, your lipids, you know, as the case might be, the A1C for diabetics. You make sure you have all your labs done. So when the flea bottom has come, all your labs is done in the system. As everything is computerized now in the system. And as a prudent nurse, you know, also make sure you check your patients every two hours. You know, you make wrongs. You might see Miss Mary leaning on the right side and she's close to the edge of the bed. What you're going to do? Wait until she falls to position her in the bed? No, you position Miss Mary in the bed. You position Miss Mary in the bed. Make her comfortable. Nursing is not all about the money. It's all about the good care you give to people when they are sick. Okay, and they need your care. You might be passing and you, you, one of the windows has a crack. And you see, you probably might see the patient in a sort of fetal position. 
you know and non non verbal in the fetal position so you gotta go get yourself a nice warm blanket close the window make sure your patient is comfortable warm and nice for the night and the patient will sleep so comfortable they will not give you no trouble uh, <coughs> you understand so caring for your patient is a very important thing for you new nurses out here use your senses when you're on the floor be able to see stuff from a distance be able to hear an unusual sound be able to smell stuff like probably cigarettes cigarette smoking or any kind of stuff yeah any leak from, from some liquid or fluid be able to touch and know hey this patient is running a rise before you could even use a thermometer you understand be alert at all times especially with diabetic patients you know diabetic patients are the love of my life i love working with diabetics i truly truly love working with diabetics because i kind of old school you understand when you're working you must know you must know let's say you're working with 20 patients per nurse you understand you must know who your diabetics are and you also must know the ranges they run into on your shift so you come on your shift you might see a patient looking a little agitated and you know normally he's not so agitated but he acted well agitated so what you would do you would go and check and see what his last blood sugar reading was And if it's large blood sugar, we don't like 108. What you will do as a prudent nurse, go and check that patient's blood sugar. You know? You check the blood sugar and it's telling you 52. That's why the patient is so agitated. You know? His blood sugar is dropping. So, you don't document that. You just go in the kitchen you know if you have access to the kitchen and you get yourself some orange juice i always keep orange juice on my shift you get yourself some orange juice and if you can pick up a cookie the patient can eat give him a cookie and some orange juice and wait a while and we, we check the blood sugar it goes up the patient is more comfortable so the patient is more safe. How to deal with a family member? Because you know, family members wants to know they have the best care for their loved ones. You know that the best of the best of um, workers are taking care of their loved ones. If you have to call a, a family member to talk about a patient's condition. A changing condition that is you don't have a high pitched tone voice you don't scare the family member you alleviate all their fears hey mrs johnson how are you this morning happy new year did i say happy new year to you happy new year miss johnson listen i'm calling you guys your, your your mom you know she's such a beautiful woman but last night she was really acting up you know she kept walking pulling the sheet pulling the drawers you know i offered her a nice warm glass of milk and she eventually settled down you know that's how you speak to family members you don't talk with fear in your voice you don't you don't scare them some you know if you scare a family member in two twos, they'll be pulling up in front of your facility. Be nice. Be nice to your patients because your patients pay your bill. You understand? Do the right thing all the time. 
Because, you know, healthcare is, healthcare is a growing field. And as I said, a lot of people get into healthcare for the wrong reason. Look at the swordfish bowl. Look, look, it's spicy. This have Congo pepper. It have bell pepper, red and green bell pepper, onions. It have pimento. What I put in it again? Well, the swordfish. Hey, let me tell you what, how I do the swordfish. How I shred it. Normally, I will shred it with a fork. But listen what I did with the, with the swordfish. I boil it twice to get rid of the salt. You understand? Then, you know that scaly part, that dark part you see on, on, on the swordfish? You take a fork or a knife and I scrape off that piece there. Drain the excess water, no water in it. I put it in my magic bullet without any liquid. I'm telling you, look how nice, look how nice it came out. You understand? So this is one way to do it and I'm going to be doing it like this from now on. Yeah, um, another, another, another thing I like to do is to make my patients happy. Like if a patient has a beautiful voice and you know, he, he wants to give a little trouble sometimes, but you know, he has this real beautiful voice. You will see, hey, Mr. Jones, sing that song, S sing that song you always sing for me. You say, what song are you talking about? I said, Mr. Jones, oh God, sing that song now. You know, you just sing that song for me all the time. And um, So, what, what song is that? I said, Old Man River. He's laugh out loud, is it? Old Man's River. He born to him. Old Man's River. You know, and you, make, you sing along with them and you make them happy. Because that's all we can do. We can make them happy. We could, we, we could go with them and reminisce on their past. Because that's where they, they, they were. And that's where they remained. Most of them. So you make them happy. You, you use a lot of distraction technique. Like for example. I want you. I hope you young nurses are listening. For, um, I always like to use distraction technique. With elderly people. You probably want, might want to go give them the medication. And they'll be agitated with you. They'll tell you they're not, they don't want no medication. Take it back. Why don't you take the medication? They will tell you. So then you might, you know, you realize, hey, I can't get this patient. And this medication is very important for this patient. How am I to give this patient this medication? So you probably might see a real nice painting on the wall. You carefully take the painting down and you show, you show her it. Is that you in that painting? She will start to laugh. She will reminisce. Oh, yes, that's me. I said, when was this taken out? You know, she'll be so happy. So that's a form of distraction technique. You can use your own ways of doing distraction techniques with your patients. Then you go back and you offer her the medication. You say, you know what? I really like that, that, that painting. It's nice. Look, I have some medication to make it calm and nice for the day. And they will take the medication. You have to exercise patience with your patient. You understand? So, when you come from work on a night shift, before you hit the bed, as I'm going to hit the bed just now, you have to prepare yourself a nice breakfast because you've been up all night. You understand? You don't want to go and do no drive through breakfast. I don't like too much a drive through breakfast. As I said, this Friday, Popeyes don't have nothing with Trinidad five weeks. McDonald's do have nothing with Trinidad five weeks and saltfish bourgeois. I'm the queen of making fry bacon and saltfish bourgeois. You know, I make it all the time. Sometimes I sleep, I dream, I think about it. Because so it's so, so delicious. And this orange peel tea. As I said in um, my video, when I initially started my cooking channel, I spoke about the properties of orange peel in your diet you know 
This, let, me, let me bring it out and show you. This is the peel of the orange. You see it? Like the orange peel. You just have to peel it. Put it in your cup. Stick it in the microwave for about three minutes. And let it withdraw all that color and that strength from the, from the orange. You put a little brown sugar. A little brown sugar, not white sugar. You put a little brown sugar. And you have yourself a nice breakfast. You understand? And as I said in the previous video, this orange peel tea, open up your airways, make your breathe better for people who have asthma and stuff like that. Take a little orange peel tea. Tell me how you feel. Drink a little orange peel tea like about three days for the week. Tell me how you feel. You know what I mean? So this is a balanced meal. It's a balanced meal because I'm seeing... What am I seeing? You have vitamins. You have all your protein. You understand? A lot of protein. And protein is good for wound healing. It's if you have any wounds on your body. If you have any kind of wounds on your body, like you, have a, you get a cut. Or your child get a cut. You know, a lot of food that is loaded with proteins. You understand? So, I eat not all of this fried bread because you know what? I really, really love fried bread. And I like to make it light and fluffy. Yeah. I like to eat my fried bread light and fluffy. So guys, for those of you who are new to my channel and you found my page for the first time, I'll be bringing a lot of interesting facts, you know? I don't like to do one particular type of video, you know? I like to do videos as it, as it cross my mind, I just do a video. As I said, I have a funny video, I have some funny videos, some street videos. Some mukbangs, a few mukbangs, and it's the, the main thing is my cooking channel. You understand? And for 2020, Happy New Year's again to you guys, especially my subscribers. I love you so much. Um, slow and sure, you know a turtle, you know the race for a turtle? You might find a fish swimming to that end of the ocean. You understand? Let's say two of them start the race. To that end of the ocean there and the big fish now swim so fast it reached this end of the ocean you see that end there it reached that end of the ocean in no time but he fried dry fish the little fish take his time and he swim he swim he swim he swim and you know what he might encounter all kind of stuff rough waters you know hurricane fish is trying to <coughs> swallow him but you know what keep going and before you know it you'll be at that end of the ocean but the moment you give up that is it for you you know you don't give up in life you don't give up you don't give up you try and you try and you try and you try and you try again until you succeed that is what success is all about and for 2020 that's the only thing I'm uh, written in my uh, written in my house and written on my face. Success. I'm gonna try, and if I fail, I'm gonna try again. And if I fail, I'm gonna try again. And if I fail, I'm gonna try again until I succeed in whatever I set my mind to do. And this should be a motto for a lot of people because you know people believe when they try the first time and they fail, they are a failure. But you know when you are a failure, you are a failure when you stop trying. The moment you stop trying is the moment you become a failure. F A I L U R E with a capital F. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice outside. It's warm inside. Pretty nice outside today. You know? And it's quiet. You see when you come from a night shift? When you come from a night shift, you have the house for yourself. 
you have the house for yourself. Who going to work? And who going to school? Mm -hmm. The house is quiet. That's the time I get to do my videos and stuff like that. So, I work in the night, taking care of the sick. And I work during the day doing my mukbangs and, and, and food videos and stuff like that. Trying to keep the world, the nation, healthy by eating healthy food. Cooking their own food. Teaching women how to cook their own food. Like if you have a man, you have to know how to cook food for a man. Although some of them, they don't deserve a woman with a sweet hand. Like sweet hand and prayer. Mm -mm. Yeah, so um, as I said, those of you who are new to my channel, subscribe and share my video. And also like and hit that notification button. And when you do hit that notification button, anytime I do a new video, it will let you know that, hey, Andre has a new video up. Mm. I'm telling you, this, this is really good swordfish. You know, as I said, all of you, for those of you wondering what is swordfish, in different parts of the Caribbean, they have different names. Yeah, bacalao. Bacalao. Right? And according to my boy Sparrow, let me see if I could sing. A part of Sparrow's song. I don't want nobody laughing at me. Because I ain't no singer. Right? But it goes like this. Solfish stew is what I like. So do do. Give me day and night. I like the taste. So don't find me rude. My favorite. I show every man love it. Solfish. Sparrow was the greatest lover, salt fish. It's sweeter than meat when you know how to eat, darling. All salt fish, sweet. So that's my version of salt fish. You understand? And I love my boy Sparrow, right? Who is the Calypso king of the world? Calypso king of the world, salt fish. Sparrow. You understand? I enjoy this breakfast so much. I can hear the birds on the treetop having their own conversation. Yeah, for, um, so for 2020, folks, don't let 2020 pass by and you haven't reached that perfection that you're supposed to reach. Don't just lie in your bed and wait for a call. You get up and make the call. Yeah, get up and make the call. Right? If you see something that you like to do, do it to the best of your ability. If you have a good voice and you could really sing, try it out. You understand? If you're good at comedy, go where they have them stand up comedy nights. And let yourself be known. You never know. You never know what can happen. You understand? I, I like cooking. I like cooking long, long time. I knew. I love to cook. And I like taking care of sick people. You understand? I love taking care of sick people. I believe um. I firmly believe that when you're sick, it messes with your entire system. You understand? Like, like for example, you you might be you might be okay, you might be physically okay, you know, but you're financially strained. 
It's like, for example, let's say, for example, you're owing $60,000 and you need to pay it back in three days and you don't have a cent to pay it back. It affects your whole body. You get headache. You get rising temperature. You stop eating. So your bones and them start to get brittle. You understand? So you have to maintain good health. Don't live above your means. You understand? Don't live above your means. Take care of yourself. Anyway, guys, I'm tired. If you like my video, share it and subscribe. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Let me finish doing this on filthy. And then I'll be heading for my bed. So see you again with another great video and a lovely mukbang. This is the KL Trade saying bye for now.